this is the first of a trilogy of videos I will be doing about barbed wire. It was a comic book first by Dark Horse Comics. And it ran in 1993, 1996, and a reboot in 2015. However, this video will mainly be talking about the movie. Um, the movie Barbed Wire came out in 1996, and it was a comic book movie, and at the time, I guess, nobody was reading the comics, so they didn't know Barbed Wire was a comic book movie and back then comic book movies weren't really taken too seriously unless you were Marvel or DC and even back then um some of those films were laughable um even Blade didn't come out till a few years later but this has barbed wire played by Pamela Anderson and she is a, I wouldn't say hitman, but a bounty hunter would be a better term. And she uses her bounty hunting job to um, help pay for what losses her, the bar she owns, um, doesn't... Uh, doesn't um bring in so um it is set during 2017 during the second american civil war um she lives in steel harbor and owns a nightclub called the hammerhead um the whole story revolves around these contact lenses that pretty much um you have to get a retinal scan everywhere you go so if you're on the list as no so, uh, sorry that's not the right way to say it if you're on the blacklist of this congressional dictatorate basically a military dictatorship um sorry if i butchered that um you are in deep trouble and everybody is out to get these contact lenses barb wants to sell them to the highest bidder um and thing about these contact lenses is, if I'm repeating myself again, you can get in anywhere, even a military installation, and not get caught. That's the thing about these contact lenses. And the cool thing about this movie is the repetition of when to mention the contact lenses. Um, that's the whole item um, that's like, the totem that glues the entire movie together without the contact lenses you pretty much have no reason for the movie to exist um it's almost like the genesis project and star trek you had that that glued together several sequels um but the uh she tries to sell them to this guy named fatso and um uh, fatso is an understatement um he's huge um and they try to get the jump on barbed wire and if you have a problem with spoilers then you're several years a lot of years too late um she does get away and still has the contact lenses and gives them 
to the two named Cora and Axel. Um, the it is very sexualized. Of course, it's got Pamela Anderson in it, and the comic was pretty much the same way. Um, the main uh, so this wasn't a well done movie. I'm not sure how much it was publicized or promoted. Um, I only found out about it through a comic book ad. I don't remember whether I read it in one of the comic books I got from Nostalgia Newsstand in Greenville, North Carolina, or um, whether it was one of the comics I read online. I don't know, but anyway, it caught my interest, and the only reason I watched it was because it was a comic book movie. Um, even I didn't realize The Mask was a comic book movie until I was an adult, at least. Um, the other good thing about it is if you like a lot of gunfire in a movie, it's got plenty of that. It's not, like, boring and... stuff um maybe for its time it was boring i'm not sure at the moment what movies it was up against and that has a lot to do with the success of a movie timing is everything sometimes you make it sometimes you don't unfortunately barbed wire didn't its budget was nine million and it only made 3.8 million um, you can get the movie on eBay. Most of the time it's the unrated version. But for the price, it's reasonable. Um, I highly recommend this for any comic book fan. Um, sorry this video is so short. I have just recently gotten back into the swing of doing a YouTube video, so you won't see my face for quite a while. Uh, I how, like I said, I highly recommend this video. Um, it's definitely not for kids. It's rated R. Um, I've got two more videos after this. I will try to make them longer than this one. Um, Please like, hit, or subscribe. I will try to throw in some trivia about the comic next time, and then I'll combine the comic and the movie in the third video. Hope you like this one, and uh, if you can find it online, it's definitely worth watching. Have a nice Dark Horse Comics day.